a, an original to teach love. <clears throat> my dad is better than your dad. My dad's stronger. My dad's faster. I bet my dad could beat your dad in a fight. In elementary school, these words rang through the playground louder than a lunch bell on an empty stomach. Even though all the dads we had stacked up pretty well in our juvenile jungle brains, jungle gyms for brains, my dad had to be better. His dad had to be better. Their dad had to be better. Kicking dust until clouds covered the unasked question, why can't our dads be great together? I met my first open atheist when I was in third grade, and young, Christian, steadfast and steel-skulled as I was, I couldn't help but wonder why someone wouldn't believe in my God. It was like something deep in my stomach cramped at the idea of a boy not bowing their head before bed. My stomach sent a connection to my ringing ears, signaling my upset heart, and every feeling and emotion gathered up until it rolled off my tongue as smooth as dice into a connection of syllables and sounds more commonly found, strung together than a Bible within the nightstand at an old hotel. You should be a Christian. It's better. After so eloquently rejecting my proposition with a no thanks, I began inspecting the specimen who ate like I ate, walked how I would walk, had the same friends I had, and was happy the same way I am happy. It was then I learned the difference between religion and love. Religion can be a tool, the silver lining to bad days, the shining stars hidden behind the clouds, the pillow at the bottom of the cliff where the irony lies is that while most religions preach of love, the majority of followers are these judgmental snakes spinning venom at anything that slides the wrong way. And even if both parties end up in the same place, people of faith are showing their fangs because you didn't get there the same way they did. Please stay exactly the way you are. Keep your morals, keep your values, remain a good person, but do it for my reasons because your reasons are wrong. <laughs> my God is better. My God is cooler, my God is funner. I bet my God could be your God in a fight. <laughs> we look at the baby born and together you will hear that it's the beauty of Jesus' love, the beauty of Allah, the beauty of Yahweh, the beauty of biology. But we all can't just agree that it's beautiful. Through and through we're using the same evidence to prove different things. We're tearing ourselves apart from it from each other, making aliens out of our neighbors because love is taking the back seat to personal pride. So here's what I think. What's cool about Judaism is that's hardly about being Jewish and entirely about community, learning, having a great time, and living a fulfilling life through what you were given. What's powerful about Christians is that they follow a man who lived on the streets, ate with lepers, and went from corpse to life in 72 hours, and that's pretty kick-ass. What's endearing about Buddhism is that they spare the lives of spiders because even the smallest creatures deserve as much of a chance at life as we do. What's admirable about atheists is that they take everything the world has given them, every sweet moment, every rocky hill, and like people of religion, make a statement driven as much by faith as it is logic. There is no God. And what's beautiful is that when you watch a follower of Islam pray on their knees, it seems as if they don't want to come up for air because the best breaths are taken with their foreheads to the ground. Mm. I will grow up to have a child one day. I will hold that little hand in my palm and wonder if it will ever outgrow my own. I will teach that baby to love before teaching religion. <laughs> <laughs>